What up, NFT fam? Let's see what the news is today. Um, so there is a space happening at 12.30 p.m. for the Adidas for Prada resource NFT auction countdown. So I'm going to go to that and see what's up. Um, I was just in the space with Bud Light and Nouns. So Bud Light purchased a Nouns. If you, this is what it is, Nouns, this. I don't know why whenever I click something, it disappears. Nouns. This, uh, not lost nouns, but nouns. Hold on a second. Open C. It may be noun with a Z. Oops. It may be noun with a Z. No. Is it nouns with an S? Yes. Um, is this really it? Why are there only a few of them? I'm confused. <laughs> Wait a second. Nouns. I can't see the link. Maybe it's here. Nouns. Experimental attempt to improve the formation of on-chain avatar communities. Why is it so hard to find their open sea? This is why I stress links. <laughs> I guess it's this one because because it's verified and it matches nouns. So they're a Dow, um, very high floor price. So Bud Light bought one of them. So it's part of a Dow. Um, and I don't know what else that means <laughs> um, in terms of what Bud Light is going to do with the nouns or the Dow or anything like that. Um, so yeah. Um, anyway, the NFTs for Bud Light are going to open on February 6th on their website, budlight.com slash NFT. Um, so Board Ape Kennel Club is now at a 10th floor. Um, I found this project Froggy Friends, and I love it when projects like collab with other projects because it's a great way to grow community. I don't know if they're in collabs with Little Lemons or Wonder Pals, but it's cute to see a photo and like an artist kind of make collabs. Um, I remember when Letters by Vinnie Hager was at in the one range, 1 1.5. Now it's at four. So this is awesome. Congrats. Uh, reminder that these were airdrops. So this is really, I really like the, the model of Board Ape Yacht Club with the, the airdrops that disappear, the, the airdrops that are serums that disappear when you transform your ape. So for all those people that have not used the serum, you know, they still have it. And even the serums are worth something. So really amazing project. There was an updated timeline for cool pets. The public mint is going to start tomorrow, February 1st at 5 p.m. Excited for that. This is the biggest Board API Club sale I've ever seen. 1,080 Ethereum. As you remember, the Mega Serum was selling for like a thousand Ethereum. So I wouldn't be surprised to see Board API Club go even higher. But this is now a 2.8, almost $3 million PFP, which is incredible. So yesterday I drew a NFT called Wine and I was thinking about it. And I was like, you know, I like to play around with words and be funny and play around with ideas. And so I changed it to wine, which is when you're crying <laughs> and then the wine, people are drinking it. Anyway, it reminds me of that other piece that I did about um, uh, violin. And then I changed it to violent, uh, spelled V-I-O-L-E-N. No, V-I-O-L-I-N, like violin, but with a T at the end, covered in blood. So I'm playing around with uh, ideas. This was the original idea and I played around with it. Um, this was the show that I watched. Um, 
Claylings has some PFP additions, accessories in the Discord server. Really cute to celebrate the Lunar New Year. Um, it looks like Lazy Lions has joined Coinbase. Congratulations to them. This was the VB drop I tried to get today. I filmed a video on my YouTube channel. No success. Um, let me try to see if any are available in the store. I actually deleted and reinstalled my app because it was just like nothing was working. Let me see. Collectibles. The rares are going for... Oh. Oh, so this was it. Okay, commons. Wait, commons. Maybe they have not been dropped. I'm only seeing uh, rares, secret rares, and ultra rares for stamps. Let me go here. Is this what was happening? Common. I'm not seeing any in the store yet. They may be delivering them slowly. But they have common, uncommon, and rare. It, oh, yeah, the marketplace is not open. Let me actually go like this and try to open up the app. So looking at that, Captain America is coming to VB Comics on February 1st. Let's see if anything has dropped. In the, I'm still looking at the marketplace. Rare, uncommon, common. Um, so Year of the Tiger is going for 53 gems. Uh, year of the Ox for 63. And then Year of the Rat is going for um, 129. Should I buy a stamp? Not sure. Not sure. Um, so I'm leaving that. Um, so Space Punks is very close to launching their tokens. Um, tokenomics out to the public this week. Clone Burn starting 4th of February and Dino Evolution coming soon. So let's actually check their floor price. To, oh, what am I doing? Open C, please. Um, Space Punks. I've probably been in this project for like four or five months at this point. Okay. Okay. Um, cool. Things to look forward to. Finalized tokenomics, my friend. Tokens should be out in Q1. So that's exciting. Board API Club is now at 114 ETH. It looks like it's going parabolic, um, which kind of worries me because in stocks when things go parabolic even in crypto with bitcoin remember when it was at 40,000 and it crashed or when it was at 20,000 and it crashed to 3,000 i don't know if there's going to be a retracement i don't know if there's like a crypto winter coming but i don't even know how high this is going to go but when things go parabolic part of me gets nervous <laughs> because nothing stays up forever. But with a lot of celebrities coming in, it's definitely moving up very quickly. So it's exciting to see. Um, but who knows, maybe I'm wrong. Maybe it just stays up forever, right? Like Ferrari doesn't crash. Um, so if this is a brand and not a stock, then you know why does it have to crash? I don't know. I'm just like, oh, it's so high. But I'm so excited for everybody, it's amazing. Um, this was an NFT I made yesterday unseen. This little guy's hiding between two people. Um, this one too. I usually don't draw pupils and eyes, so I decided to make some hearts. Um, this was the wine one. So I was in a space yesterday, kind of just like, you know, I go in, I ask for advice or feedback or whatever, and people were telling me that I should hide my one of ones, that I should lower my collection, that I have too many pieces out. And I really just rejected all of it. I was like, you know what? I think what I'm doing is special for me. I'm definitely working super hard. I don't know any other one of one artist who is challenging them themselves to make 10,000 pieces. And because basically the psychology behind one of one art sales is that you have to be rare. You have to be like exclusive and just have a few pieces and grind it out until you sell them out. And I'm just not about that. I'm a creative person. I want to keep making pieces. I like the 10K, you know, it's like my homage to the 10K PFP projects, but I'm a one of one artist, so I'm doing it the hard way. And I was like, 
thank you, but you know, I'm just going to keep doing me because I think it makes me that much more rare that I'm basically taking on all of this and grinding out pieces every day. Nobody else is doing that. So if someone's looking for something rare, why wouldn't I be rare? <laughs> like it just doesn't make sense to me. So I rejected that. <laughs> anyway, these are pineapples. This is loving. This is mindset, subconscious mind. So, you know, when you have, um, God damn this dog. <laughs> so when, um, hold on a second, hold on. Aflac, get inside. Hey, hey, go inside. Excuse me. Go, hey, go inside. You're ruining my news video. Get inside. <laughs> he likes to bark at the door. Go, keep going. <laughs> All right. So, you know, like the thoughts in your head can kind of be related to a record player, right? So what, is, what are the thoughts that are playing in your mind? So I wrote subconscious mind and then I wrote, I am he wealthy, healthy, and loved. <laughs> so I like that. I saw this. Um, so World of Girls, they came out yesterday, I believe. I have two of them from around 0 .03, which came out to about 0 .05 with gas. So they're still in this area. It is a derivative, so it's kind of risky, but I think it's cute and women PFPs are going, so maybe I'll get lucky and get a little flip. Um, Crypto Chicks is making huge sales. There was a 10 ETH sale. I think they're at a three Ethereum floor. Let's check really quick. Crypto.chicks. I think Eva Longoria is in them. No. Oh, yes, she is. 2.1. I think they were closer to three yesterday. They might be doing a little bit of like figuring out where they are. I definitely want to watch this. I mean, listen to this. 1.37 p.m. is hosting a space with Encryptas. It's another female PFP project. It looks like this. Encryptas. I never bought one. Um, stop it. But they're still at an affordable price for a PFP that's been in for like months, which is kind of cool. Um, definitely probably some, you know, advantage here. They're, re they're being recognized. So I don't know. I'm bullish on it now. Um, these were two NFTs that I put up. I'm trying to do a good morning with the link to my collection and a good night with the link to my collection and new pieces. I thought this was a really cute derivative. I'm always like impressed by, um, you know, people's creativity. So this is dead, dead fellas and doodles combined into dead doodles. I thought it was really cute. And this is why I like sneak peeks because you, you instantly know what the project is going to look like, but nothing is for sale yet, but they're trending so they can get followers. And that's why I think, you know, having a sneak peek of what you're doing is super important for buyers to follow you, put on notifications and get, you know, informed. It's a derivative, but it's a really cute derivative of two famous projects. I saw this mochi mochi. I love mochi on like ice cream and just eating it. It's Japanese rice cake, like dough. It's so delicious. These have not yet been revealed. The floor price was somewhere like 0.20 yesterday when I was looking at it. Now it's 0 0.30. So I don't know what this is. It kind of looks like Wonder Pals, but it's not. Um, it seems like they have a lot of followers as well. 14K. Super cute. Excited to see where they go. So I'm going to close that. Um, someone was saying crypto chicks will probably go to a 10 ETH floor. I wouldn't be surprised because they're the original female PFP project. Um, this person sold two board apes for 800 and 800. Congratulations. Um, so dead fellas is launching dead friends. It's not dead pets. <laughs> it's dead friends. I thought it was dead pets and the cat is really cute. So I wanted to retweet it. They have a bunch of different ones. I saw this as well. Um, Logan Paul, he posted on his Instagram or maybe somebody like took an Insta uh, like a view of what he owns and made a, like, um, a graph. So he's got incognito, but he's got a bunch of female, you know, PFPs like, or just projects, world of women, Irene Dow, um, flower girls and long neck ladies. So I sent him a tweet tagging him being like, hello, you know, check out mine, <laughs> no response. <laughs> and so it looks like that's it for now. So if you like this video, remember to like, comment, share, subscribe. We've got a VV um, launch coming up at 3 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. There's an Encryptas 1.37 p.m. Um, uh, 
a space today at 1.30. There's another space that I'm going to at 12.30 in a couple of minutes. I already forgot what the hell it was. What the hell was it? Oh, Adidas. And then Cool Pets is launching tomorrow. Um, so stay tuned for that. And if you like my project and you want to support, it's called the Evolution of Flowers. I also make custom NFTs if you want something custom. I'm now above 450, inching my way towards 500. And I'll see you guys next time. Bye.